what up big herc 916 positivity motivation never settle for average hey man i know you're not average so go pick you up some merch at bigherc916.com and represent because there's no room for mediocrity and wash your ass on top of it grab your bar of soap you know people want things that are quick and easy. They want microwave food, liposuction, likes, follows, plastic surgery. They want shortcuts. They don't want to go through the pain or the suffering required for long lasting results. And that's why most of the people who win the lottery, people who go and get these crazy surgeries to lose weight, it don't last, man. It don't last because you haven't conditioned yourself for that which you've acquired money, wealth. You have to condition yourself to know how to sustain it. Make investments, build, not buy things that are going to depreciate. Most people are poor because they haven't been taught about real wealth. They don't know anything about corporations, trust, investments, stocks, real estate. They haven't been informed on how the game really works, tax write-offs and all these different things that allow you to keep your money because it's not made for us as regular people to thrive. It's made for us to be slaves in the system. It's not made for us to be balling. As far as individuals, they tax you to death, man. But that takes, you know, like I said, it takes time to study. And unless you've been blessed with a family member who laced you up at family dinners or took you to work with them every, you know, uh, weekend so you can shadow them to learn certain things, then you're not gonna understand wealth and how to hold on to money and build it. Same thing with people getting these surgeries. Tummy tuck, breast enlargement, breast reduction, liposuction, uh, pec implants, calf implants, synthol in arms, all these crazy things, right? You see him, man. You seen the clown? Sent on the arm, sent on the shoulders. He's got these these fake pecs, and his legs look like shit. No definition on his arms. He looks like a feminine wannabe bodybuilder with soft ass muscle. Not even muscle belly. There's soft bellies all over his body. He just looks stupid. And he's flexing, dancing around. He's got a, a lot of followers and likes, but people really just follow him, like him, to clown him. Looks like a, a, a just looks stupid, but he's got all these injections. Ain't, didn't want to put the work in at the gym. Didn't want to put the work in uh, with the nutrition. You know, years of training, dieting, being consistent. He went and got all this fake stuff in his body. He looks stupid. Legs is nothing. Calves is itty bitty. Got the chicken calves. No quads. No hamstrings. You know, uh, really no no arms. It's just all fake. But that's the type of shit. And that's what type of society we live in. Everybody wants quick. Nobody wants to suffer. They see the guy who's uh, an MMA fighter and he's, you know, in the octagon and he's doing this and that. And you sit next to somebody. Oh, man, I would have ducked. I would have did this. No, you wouldn't have. You would have got you smashed. You would have got your ass beat because you haven't trained. Most of these guys have been been in combat sports since they were in high school, whether it's wrestling, jujitsu, karate, boxing. I mean, dude, you're talking about dudes, this is what they do for a living. And then on top of it, a lot of you ain't used to getting hit. You want to hit somebody, but you don't want to get hit back. 
It's a whole psychology to it to get hit so many times where you, your eyes water and you, you know your nose is tingling and you, it just becomes numb and your ears all uh, 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 cauliflower from rolling and stuff like that. You have no idea. But you want to get in there and fight for the money. Oh, I'll fight him for this. I would have fought him for this. No, you wouldn't have because you had to go through 40, 50, 60 other people to get to that fight. It's putting in the work, man. None of these people want to suffer. They all want to have the accolades. Oh, I'm a G. I did this and that. See, you, you, you dummies, man, you want to do you, you want to do some stupid shit and go to the pen and hopefully you can hurry up and get out. And then get to, oh, yeah, I was up in there with Big big, big Ron Ron, Big Tito, boo boo wop. But you ain't did no suffering. See, the real cats who did the suffering, who's doing all the time, they ain't out here bragging about this shit. No, the dude who spent years training and fighting, he's humble, very quiet. He doesn't, even, he doesn't go around telling people how much of a badass he is. He, he probably has security around, so he doesn't have to get caught up trying to fight anybody because he knows he'll hurt somebody. He ain't the dude in the bar, yeah, man, watch out, dude, I'm the man up in here. Nah, man, because that dude's a clown. The real dude, they're, they're quiet, humble. The dude who, who, uh, 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 who's balling, he got on a little t-shirt, some jeans. You know, he, he's not uh, wearing big ass gold chains and nugget rings. He don't even have no jewelry. He might have a watch and he left it at home, but he's pushing his little, you know, what, maybe he's got an old uh, uh, Mercedes classic or maybe he's got a newer car, but he's just, you know, you wouldn't even know who he was until you seen him walk into. Out of, the, out of the coffee shop into the parking lot and getting something clean. But this guy's put in work. Some of them, some of them been blessed. You know, family members, like I said, you know, long as you stayed out of trouble, you got, you got that, that, that trust, that spoon. But, you know, there's a lot of people, man, they went through a lot of losses as far as investments that didn't work out, businesses that failed, you know, um, you know, Losing things, going in, going into debt. There's a lot that happens with it. People think that, oh, I'm, I'm gonna take this course and I'm gonna doing ten thousand a day on dropship or whatever the e-commerce. It doesn't, man. That's bullshit, man. It, it's, dude. It takes time. It, like with anything else, you gotta. There's a lot of things you have to learn through just trial and error. Just like with losing weight, if you're not gonna diet, you're gonna turn back into a fat ass. You're going to gain all the weight. Everywhere you suction it out on, it's going to go somewhere else. So you're suctioning out your stomach. You're suctioning out your legs and ass. Next time it's going to go to your jaws and your shoulders. You're suctioning out of your shoulders and, and, and you're suctioning out of uh, your, your, your hips. It's going to go to your stomach and maybe your, your, uh, your booty. You can't, you can't run from uh, something that you haven't changed. You have to change your habits. You got to change the way you perceive it. You got to put in the work. You got to put in the work. When I share these stories or, or inspirations and I think about all the stuff I've been through, and I'm thinking like, you know, and I'm not trying to be no superhero, the super I've been through more than anybody else. No, there's a lot of people that went through a lot more. I'm not telling her story. I'm telling my story. And I'm not trying to act like mine is any greater than the next person. I'm just being uh, uh, heartfelt and sharing my story. But at the end of the day, I had to go through certain things to get these life lessons. I was just telling somebody, man, I wish I could have had the knowledge I had now when I was 15, 16, man. I would have did a lot of things different, man. I I, I would have, man, I think about like the people I met, the, 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 the women I slept with, the, the, the money I spent doing stuff, hanging out with this guy, doing that. I'm like, man, you know, the cars I've had, this I've had. I'm like, if I had all of that game I have now, back then or if i would have been able to reach some young person and somehow instill the things i have now and they could actually grasp them at the age i wish i would have grasped them i might uh i might speed fast track the next person to be successful at a younger age than i was and be able to share when they get older with somebody else and continue the cycle of helping other people uh, acquire knowledge and success faster, which there is no faster, but 
you'll catch on quicker and, and hopefully be able to apply some of the things I talk about as far as the discipline and putting in the work. Because you got to put in the work, man. You know, you, you can't build muscles without straining your, your, your body. You can't have uh, a, a nice physique or you can't perform in the NFL or even in college D1 unless you're training. You can't just be a la- you can't be a lazy a lazy shit and think you're going to get up and go and, and, and play for for Notre Dame or uh you know Penn State or UCLA. It ain't going to happen, man. You, you can't run a 40. You're not going to be able to do the, the 225 on the incline. You're not going to be able to do the squats. If you don't apply yourself, you know, if you don't Discipline yourself to not eat certain shit. You're not going to go to the beach and, 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 and be someone that people are just like, oh, my, look how, oh, she's hot. Or, man, look at that guy, blah, blah, blah. You, you'll be taking your, your, your shit off and you have your little rolls hanging, but you're going to be a fat ass. You're going to be you're going to be a Teletubby. You're going to be what you are. It just it is. You're going to get exactly what you put in. You put in shit food. You're going to be shit. You sit around and beat your meat all day. You sit around and play video games all day. You're going to be weak. You're not going to be able to do 100 push-ups. You do 100 push-ups every day, you eventually be able to do 120. Then you eventually do 150. Eventually you do 200. You're going to start seeing your body develop. You're going to see your, your discipline. You're going to look at things different. You're going to eat different. You're going to maybe start studying more. All these things lead to something. As you start developing your body, you develop your mind, you, you feel better about yourself. You're not going to want to do things that lazy people do, that people who have no goals, people who haven't felt the pain of working out, the soreness or the deprivation. you got to deprive yourself of something to have a body like that. You just go get the surgery, it ain't, it ain't going to last. You might have it for about a year, and two years later, I guarantee you, you'll blow it out again. The dude with all the surgeries, yeah, he, he got all that stuff. He looks stupid. When he gets old, all that stuff can be sagging because he has no muscle. He hasn't developed his body. Same thing with you. Like I said, quick money, you got to know how to invest it so that you can maintain that and leave something for your, 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 your legacy, for your children and your children's children. But, you know, a lot of times kids who have a more privileged upbringing than their parents don't realize what the parents went through to get there. Somebody has to suffer, man. It ain't just all gravy train. I mean, you know, I'm free and I'm very grateful for all I have. But some days, man, I'm thinking like, man, trying to think of business moves, trying to think of different things. And, man, you rack your brain. You know, you're like, damn, you know, wow, I wish this would work. I wish that worked. And it can be frustrating. But I just got to, you got to keep pushing, you know. You know, I've closing businesses, got beat on an app over here, invested in this. These dudes ran off to India. You know, these cats over here were busters, you know, lost on this car deal. And, you know, just different stuff, man. But it's like I learned and I'm like, I, you know, I wish maybe if I could have seen it before I did it. You know, work with this guy to restore a car and he's he's a, a, a shyster, pays his rent with my car money. Or this dude over here who puts a bunk transmission in my car. Or, or, or this guy over here that, you know, we're developing an app. When he gets the last payment, he disappears. Shit happens, man. And believe me, that's it, it might not be a, a whipping of, of like, a, you know, I'm getting whipped but uh, physically. But I'm getting, mentally, I'm getting whipped, man. It's, it's, you get angry. You try to figure out how to deal with this stuff logically and these are the mental things that can break you down. But I, I don't I don't quit. I keep going. I keep going, man. And I'm still putting out energy and building things, building brands, you know, writing books, helping people. So at the end of the day, man, you cannot have legitimate results without having experienced a level of suffering to elevate you so that you can appreciate and be able to sustain that which you will eventually be blessed with when you put in the work. Big Herc 916. Hello, my name is Big Herc 916 and I'm with the Wash Your Ass Committee and I'm traveling across America helping people wash their ass and get their booty holes clean. And I have with me here today, 
wash your ass soap. And this one in particular is butt naked scrub, but I also have festival, oatmeal, milk and honey, you're making me crazy, um, monkey farts, and all these scents smell very good. They will help cleanse your body of funk and also make you feel better about yourself. So if you can go to BigKirk916.com, you can pick you up a bar. And my goal is to help America combat funk. Go to BigKirk916.com and purchase you a bar of soap, one of the books I've written, a hat, a beanie, a t-shirt, tank top, or some detail spray for your car. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916 Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.